so we are here with another video we got the toronto raptors today and i'm very excited for this team obviously because they made it to the playoffs last season when no one believed they can be obviously they have a good young player in scotty barnes pascal siakam and fred van vliet both leading the charge for this team they also have some good supporting pieces in og and anobi precious achua they also got Otto porter jr in the offseason thad young who's also a great pickup and today we're going to talk about this team and why they're going to be making a huge splash next season so what's up my name is jdc if you like what you see drop a like down below subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate it and let's just get into it it. so first of all obviously we got a video here back i want to say in like a couple of weeks we're trying to get back into the swing of things finally here so we got a video on the toronto raptors i know you raptors fans definitely like these type of videos so if you like what you see drop a like down below subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate it and let's get into it so i think we'll first start off with you know two of the main guys on the team and pascal siakam and fred van vliet obviously both these guys being probably one of the older players on the team you know obviously alongside that young but these two guys are going to be the vets on the team leading the charge and honestly just being down in the fourth quarter being those guys going to be taking the big shots in the game so we'll start off with fred van vliet last season averaged around 20 points per game four rebounds and seven assists fred van vliet obviously making his first all-star game last season and you know very much so i mean fred van vliet very underrated player first of all and second of all he's probably one of my favorite raptors players on the team because obviously he has a lot to prove came from an undrafted player to one of the best or probably one of the more underrated players on the team so looking at his shooting splits over the season let's see here shit all right so looking at his shooting splits over the season he actually shot around fuck so looking at shooting splits over the season, he actually shot around 40% from the field and around 38% from the three. Pretty great overall shooting splits from a guy that's going to be taking a high volume amount of threes and, you know, someone that's going to be handling the ball a lot. So Fred Van Vliet, I mean, he's going to be one of the main guys moving forward if the Toronto Raptors want to contend. And pretty much so, they are going to be trying to contend with this roster. I think today they just, just signed Josh Jackson, who previously played for the Phoenix Suns, I want to say. So... Pretty great moves from the front office, obviously, Masai Ujiri and I want to say uh, Bobby Webster, you know, two of their GMs right there. So uh, obviously Fred Van Vliet and Pascal Siakam, they're going to be big pieces, especially in the fourth quarter. And really just that because this team is still fairly young. I mean, we have Fred Van Vliet, who is around 28 years old. I think Pascal Siakam is also around 28, 27. We also have Scotty Barnes, who was their rookie last year, being going into his sophomore year, being around 21 years old. OG Nanobi being around 25 years old. Persis Achua being 22, who has a lot of upside. And they have all these other supporting pieces, you know, Thad Young being a vet, being around 34 years old. They have also Ken Birch, who definitely has a lot of potential being 29, and Malachi Flynn, who I think is their most underrated player, being around 24 years old, but definitely has a lot of upside in himself. So we'll get into Pascal Siakam next, who definitely is probably their best player. I would say he's definitely better than Fred Van Vliet, very much so. Looking at his overall stats from the season. 23 points per game, 9 rebounds and 5 assists. Definitely a better bounce back year compared to the previous one. Obviously, he didn't have too much of a great year before last season. And, you know, due to that was because I think everyone thought he would be pretty much the next Kawhi after Kawhi left. But, you know, didn't really do too much and was having an off year. He definitely made up for it this year and he definitely showed out. He, looking at his shooting splits, shot around 49% from the field and around 34% from three. So definitely had a great year. Averaged basically more points than he did before that. I mean, I think it's around one point per game difference in between. But nonetheless, I mean, Pascal Siakam, definitely one of the more underrated players in the league. And in my opinion, I think... People are still going to be sleeping on him next season and the Toronto Raptors in general. And, you know, obviously with the Toronto Raptors being very young, people are going to be sleeping on them. Kind of like, I wouldn't say the Houston Rockets. I think they're going to have another bad season. I think even Detroit, I mean, they're definitely stacked, you know, with Jaden Ivey and Cade Cunningham, you know, Jalen Duran, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bey. But I think they're going to have another losing season. It all just depends on how well they play. But uh, being as the, all these teams are pretty young, they're all still very underrated too, especially come three to four years from now when all their pieces are fully developed and they're ready to contend. So looking at their supporting pieces on the roster, I mean, one guy I want to talk about here is Gary Trent. 
averaged around 18 points per game and around three rebounds. He is around 23 years old, so he fits in with their time frame. Gary Trent, one of the more underrated shooting guards in the league. And, you know, coming from Portland, he didn't really get too much run with them because obviously Dame and CJ McCollum were taking most of the shots. But now coming to the Toronto Raptors, I mean, he's pretty much more of a third or fourth option on the team. But still, the ball movement in Toronto is definitely one of the better ones I've seen recently. And, you know, Gary Trent, he's getting his fair share of, you know, shooting the ball. So looking at his stats from the season, he shot around 38% from the three and around 41% from the field, which is great to see and also played in 70 games out of the 80. So his injury history isn't really too much to worry about, but more as him being consistent because I remember around the end of the season, he was getting a little bit inconsistent and especially, you know, in the playoffs, he was pretty inconsistent. But overall, I think he still is a pretty great piece for this Raptors team. And, you know, with Pascal Siakam, Scotty Barnes and Fred Van Vliet creating a lot of gravity. Gary Trent is getting out of a lot of opportunities, you know, in the corner or even in the wing to take some, you know, spot up threes. So we're going to look at Scotty Barnes, you know, obviously he's going to be their main guy moving forward. Honestly, his potential is really hard to determine. I mean, he's a guy that's very interesting. Someone that can do basically everything on the floor. Doesn't really have too many weaknesses other than his three point shot, but even that's coming along pretty well. Uh, he also averaged around 15 points per game, around 8 rebounds, and around 4 assists. Looking at his shooting splits, he shot around 49% from the field and around 30% from 3. Obviously, I, I think Scotty Barnes, his 3-point shot, it's going to translate well next season, you know, when he's a sophomore. He's been putting in the work recently in, you know, the offseason videos we've seen. He's been locking up, you know, players like James Harden in those videos we've seen, you know, working out at Rico Hines. So, pretty great to see that he's putting in the work in the offseason. And, you know, we like to see, you know, those type of workout videos from guys that have a lot to prove and I think Scotty Barnes I mean after his rookie season winning the rookie of the year he has a lot to prove in his sophomore year so moving forward he's going to be a very important piece to this Raptors defense especially because I think the Toronto Raptors what they're trying to do on defense where they're trying to get a lot of guys that are able to switch multiple positions is definitely a pretty cool I w yeah I definitely would say a pretty cool culture shift because obviously they're moving away from you know the traditional big man where you know we have one big man there kind of covering the interior whereas right now they have a lot of guys that can switch multiple positions and honestly I think they could go for another player and that player could be a Robert Covington because he's able to switch on multiple defenders. He can guard basically one through five. I think he would fit pretty well in this team too with his three-point shooting. You know, kind of like an, basically a better auto porter. You know, obviously Robert Covington is a little bit washed, but at the same time, I mean, he dropped, I think like 42 and 11 last season, I want to say. So, you know, Robert Covington would be a pretty cool fit on this roster too. So uh, looking at some other guys, I mean, OG Nanobi is also another guy that's going to be helping them. 17 points per game, around 6 rebounds. And also Precious Achua, who also averaged 9 points and 7 rebounds. So these two guys are going to be some pretty great supporting pieces. We also got Malachi Flynn, who off the bench should get some minutes, obviously. Because Malachi Flynn, he's very underrated. His scoring ability... It's very underrated. And looking at his stat, you know, four points per game and around one rebound don't really reflect what he's able to do. In the offseason, I think he scored like 92 points in the cro in like a Pro-Am crossover event, I want to say. So a very underrated talent right here. I wish the Raptors would give him some more run. I really do. Looking at the other supporting pieces, I mean, Otto Porter is also a great defensive wing for this team. You know, eight rebounds, six rebounds, eight points, six rebounds, and one assist, basically. Very important to the Warriors' playoff run last season to win them the championship. Uh, the defense, obviously, you know, to Otto Porter is definitely very valuable to this Toronto Raptors team. So, uh, finally, we got Chris Boucher, who, obviously, as the backup center, I would say it's a temporary fix, nothing too long term here because he is around 29 years old. He averaged around 9 points and 6 rebounds. So honestly, I would say that Chris Boucher might be on his way out pretty soon here. I mean, they're going to have to look to get a better center in free agency. I really would have liked them to get like a Mo Bamba type of player or a Nick Claxton, but obviously those guys got signed up. But yeah, I mean, this I, I don't even know. Like the Toronto Raptors, they have a lot of things they can do. But at, at the same time, I mean, they've done a lot this offseason to the point where I think they're going to be pretty much fine. And looking at the roster right now, I mean, the front office has done a lot to the point where this team looks pretty solid on paper and even on court. But we'll see. The Toronto Raptors, definitely one of the youngest you know teams in the league alongside the rockets and you know the pistons and all those other teams they have a good supporting cast we'll just see how well they play together because i think this team overall they definitely have what it takes to go to at least the conference finals but 
it depends on who they first in the finals because i think depending on who they verse if they have a big lineup you know kind of like i wouldn't say the atlanta hawks because they do have clint capella but he isn't really of a post player i mean if they have you know the the timberwolves who have cat and rudy gobert might be a little bit difficult but at the same time, I really do believe in Toronto's defense because they have a lot of really high-level defenders. I mean, we're talking OG Nanobi, we're talking Scotty Barnes, we're talking Fred Van Vliet, who's a pretty great perimeter defender. We have, you know, Pascal Siakam, who's also a pretty great defender right there. You know, we have a lot of, of these pretty great defensive wings and guards. Otto Porter, Gary Trent, who have a lot to prove. So we'll see what happens next season. Let me guess, nobody guess think about the Toronto Raptors. What do you guys project for them? I think they're going to go pretty far in the playoffs. I mean, last year against the Philadelphia 70 six series it was almost an upset not a complete one but i think they would have done it if they didn't have all those injuries because i think scotty barnes went down with an injury i think gary trent went down with an injury i want to say don't quote me on that but uh for the most part i think he was pretty inconsistent too but uh without scotty barnes i mean they were pretty much lost and that's pretty much their def defensive anchor overall and someone that's going to be playmaking so hopefully the toronto raptors can bounce back this season i think they're going to have a pretty great season let me guys know what you guys think and i'm out peace to this video my name is jdc and my peace.